do at Manchester United around player power. Um, look, basically, this is coming out that that, that there is mass um, unhappiness in that team uh, with Ranić and also a little bit with Ronaldo, that these players are basically um, not, not, not putting in the effort, not happy, moaning to the board. <coughs> They've got the ear of the board. They started under Mourinho. Um, there's players at that football club who are not happy with Ralph Ranić. They're not happy with Cristiano Ronaldo and they are leaking it to the press like a sieve. And uh, Manchester United are in, uh, you know, on the pitch, crap on Monday night and off the pitch in turmoil. And fans are very, very unhappy, Paul. What's your thoughts on that? Well, first and foremost, I mean, it's, it's, not, a, it's, not, a, it's not a shock to me because the same stuff was coming out when Ollie was in charge. Um, not to the extent, I mean, first and foremost, when you have a new manager in, it, it, you know, it should have been a lift. You know, I mean, it should have, should have revitalised everybody at the club, you know, and it's actually gone the other way around. Um, it's gone the downward spiral. Now, you know... Well, apparently that's because they didn't want some of them. And look, there are cliques in there, and I think we can all predict who they are. They're people who benefited under the previous manager. Apparently, they're not happy that the previous manager got sacked, so they don't like the new guy, which is bloody ridiculous. But there you go. But, the, but this is what this is what this is what you get, and and this is what this is what some of these players are they're like babies, you know, they're like little kids, and they throw their toys out the pram. And um, it's always the situation when a new old manager goes, and you know, listen, everyone was happy under Ollie, or most people were, especially the ones who were playing week in and week out. Um, but we saw what what try that was thrown up every every weekend most of the time. So you know, ev eventually, you know, push comes to shove, the manager's got to go. A new manager comes in, new ideas, tries to change it, which you have to change it because mate and I had under Oli the last six months of his tenure were, were, were dire. They absolutely were, and you know, manager got to come in with his new ideas. Um, now these new ideas that he's got. Um, are not good ideas. I mean, changing the formation to four two 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 um never works. I mean, you said they were crap on, on Monday. And you know, I, I did the game on Monday for Sky. Um, they were crap against Norwich, got away mm -hmm. with it. They were they should have got beat by Newcastle, got away with it. They weren't overly great against Burnley. Um uh, but one because Burnley were that poor. So this is something and and I and I find it I find it a bit of deja vu with, with this situation because I you know, when, when when they played Burnley, and after the game, Ralph Rangnick went, oh, Greenwood was outstanding, Sancho was outstanding, Cavani was unbelievable. And I'm thinking, what game are you watching? What game are you watching? Who 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 are you trying to kid? You know, and I think if they, if they, if you think they were great, then we've we've got a problem here straight away. Um, so, and I'm thinking, am I looking at an older version of Ollie here? Is this a deja vu situation? You know, and and th and this is what it seems like to me. Yeah, I mean, he's come in and he's picked up points. You know, and I think as a manager, you, you want to start off winning games, and, and and he's done that to a certain extent. But the performances have been absolutely dire. They really, do you think really he's uh, do you think he's the wrong choice then, Paul? Because you were you were pretty early on Ollie when he was appointed. Do you think Ranić's the wrong choice, or do you actually well, think it's the players just being? In, in in my words, um, absolute disgrace. I, I'd kick most of them out. I mean, it doesn't matter who you are. If you go into that club as Paul Ince and you say, right, we're doing things my way and the players go, we don't like this, we leak this to the press, you're never going to get... You, you can't... And no manager can go in and sort things out when you've got petulance and backstabbers like we've got. No, listen, you're right. And and, and it disgusts me when you, when, you, when you know... He's only been there four weeks, really, hasn't he? Yeah, it's only been four or five weeks. Yeah, I get that. But as I said, we always said from the start of it, you know, he's only coming as, a, as an interim manager. There, there in one lies a problem. Mm. Two, obviously, if players ain't playing, they were playing. You know, three, from what we but allegedly believe, there's a lot of fragmentation in, in, the, in the change room. Little groups, the little pockets of people who are, who are all opinionated. Um, and it looks like to me, it's like, it's like the lunatics running the asylum. That's what it looks like to me. You know, people are just doing what they want to do. And if you haven't got that tough manager, like a Ferguson, who, who who was the greatest manager of all time, in controlling those egos, controlling those opinions, you know, being... Did it ever used to happen when you were at United? Would you ever get a situation where um, first-team players, because I, I, I'll tell you now, it's a number of first-team players are yeah. leaking to the press, they're moaning to the board, they're undermining the manager... 
They're uh, bigging up Phelan and Fletcher because they're their mates. Would would that ever have happened? Not only at Man United, but at any club you've been. I mean, you played under Graham Taylor. I mean, you know, mm. I'm not not knocking him. Rest in peace. I liked him as a as a man, but you know, you know, turn up on his head for the sun and all that. Like, you know, you've played. In, in teams where there's been, you know, bad results. But this level of basically backstabbing, you've also been a manager. Did it, is that mm. normal? Because people say, well, social media world, but it was easier to leak to the press in your days because there was no social media. You had, yeah, a, exactly. you had, a, you had a journalist who was your mate, you know, might chop, right. drop your drink at Christmas, etc. Is mm. is this a is this something you've 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 witnessed before um on this scale? Well up no, power. No, not on this scale. When when you talk about I mean you you mentioned twelve players. Now today, it's, it seems to be seventeen. You know, that's that's a lot, a lot of players. Mm-hmm. You know, you could, you could, you could, you could. There's always times where, listen, the players weren't happy. And you're right. Back in the day, we did have certain journalists who were our mates, and you know, you say what's going on, and you know. But it was always the ones who weren't playing. It was all the ones who were, who were trying to get away. Um, now, and the thing is, for me, I, I'd love to out these players. You know, players. Of there, they get paid a lot, a lot of money, okay, to perform or be ready to perform when the manager calls upon them. You know what gives them the audacity to go to the press to, uh, and go to the board and say this ain't right, that ain't right. Start talking about manager. It should never, never happen in football. Unfortunately, in today's world, you know players are that. I'm, I'm not target targeting all the players, but I'm saying players are doing things now that. We would never dream of doing. I would never dream of going to Martin Edwards, you know, and saying, "Oh, Fergie's this," and the lads don't like him. You just want to do it. bigger than this club. No, and, and and that's that's the word you actually used, ego. And and these people come in and think they're bigger than the club. You know, they they do. I mean, I can imagine Matt Ronaldo the way he's been acting lately. You know, every time walking off the pitch, you know what I mean, um, running down the tunnel straight away. Um, we said at the start when Ronaldo came, yeah, I thought at the start he has been brilliant. He's been brilliant. You know, he's, if it wasn't for him, we'd been at the Champions League um, and maybe mid-table in, in, in the Premier League uh, with the goals that he scored. But Ronaldo is, as I said before, is all about Ronaldo. And no one else. It's all about Ronaldo and that can cause a problem. And, you know, you can sense that. You can sense the way Fernando, uh, Fernandez has changed since Ronaldo's been there. You know, he spends half the time moaning and, you know, having to go at other people rather than performing them himself. You know, and now, he, now he's not in the starting in the, in, in, in the team. He, you know, and all of a sudden you imagine he's gone from being the main man last year, well, to this year, kind of getting the, in, the, in the side. Now, something's got to be wrong now. You know, there's too much things, problems going on at United. There's too much um, fractions going on at United. There's too many people who think they're good enough to play for United, who are peanut about what we should be doing, how we should be doing it, the managers this, the managers that. You know, you, you can't you can't have a football club like that. You know, you you can't do that. And I am not sure, you know, who's actually who's who's actually choosing these managers. You know, I, I don't and I said to you before, fair, who's who's making these decisions on the on the manager that come in? Because I'm not sure whether Fergie was to do with Ollie. I'm not sure who who chose Rennick. Now, you might say the ball, but we've got a board of people who are non-football people. I don't get it. You know, so, well, Darren Fletch is very powerful at that club for some reason, and I don't I don't get it either. But, but, uh, but, uh, my feeling as well, you know. This 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 is this is this is where this is the where the problem lies. You know, we've and this this is stemmed from obviously Ollie bringing these people in when he was in when, when he was in charge. You know, and Darren Fletcher was a technical director. That was his title. I'm I'm not sure. <laughs> in layman terms, what that actually means, what he actually does, okay, I, I, I really, I really don't. You know, I, I wasn't sure what Michael Mickey Feeling does. I, 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 I don't understand what he does. I never saw him on a touch line. I lost him just standing around. You know, I, I know from speaking to people that Ollie and Mickey Feeling never took a training session. Yeah, it was always Carrick and the other lad who's just gone to um, Ipswich. Um, so. What are these people doing at the club? Is it job for the boys? Now, all of a sudden, now, new manager comes in, and Dan Fletcher's like an assistant manager. He's, you know, he's in a dugout, he's, a, he's on a touchline. What is going on? What is going on? You, you know, whether Ralph's seen something in him that Ollie didn't see, I don't know. But 
it beggars belief how how these people sometimes get these jobs at the biggest club in the world. So I, I look at the whole f picture here, and I'm I came to United in 1989. <clears throat> we won a title in 92, 90, 92, 93. That was the first time in 26 years. Now I might be going a little bit over the top with this, but we haven't won it for nine years now, and the way things are going. You know, we could be back to the, to that kind of feeling where we ain't going to win it for another bloody nine years because the club, it's a total, total shambles. And I was thinking, the future of Manchester United, what does it hold? If I look at the squad, you know, who who who's going to be there? You know, Ronaldo's got a year left. He, he's not the future. Nor is Cavani. He's not the future. Pogba could be gone. You know, you look at the... Bruno player, will go as well. Bruno could go. You look at the players who are playing now. Fed ain't good enough. We know that. You know, McTominay's not good enough. We know that. You know, Wampersack has lost all his confidence. Not the right choice. You know, so we've got five or six, seven players. Sancho looks miles off it. So I'm looking, if you bring a new manager, and you, you've got to change 80% of the team and still try and play, you know what I mean? Uh, and still try and play, try try and get up to Liverpool and City and Chelsea standards. You, you've got to. So we, we've got a long, long way to go. So for United on the weekends or midweek, you're going to get those results. With Ronaldo, Ronaldo, yes, one of the greatest players ever to, to play play on this on the football pitch. But he also he also has to have a kind of understanding that. that if, if if he's a serial winner and he knows how to win, he, he needs to give that information to the players. He needs to let the players understand what it takes to win. I don't think... Well, I think he, but, the, but, but the story is they don't want to listen. Well, they don't like it. They don't like someone coming in and telling them what to do. They've got their if, own but, little but, cliques. But if you look, if you, if you, if you, well, maybe they don't want to listen, not because they're not accepting what a great player he's done and what he's achieved in the game. Maybe they don't listen because the way he conducts himself. And... and, and, and that's, that's, that's the thing. Look, I've, there's a, I've had people... Arrogance, players. though, isn't it? Deserves Sorry? it. Maybe he's arrogant, but maybe he deserves to be arrogant. That, that's, that's what I'm saying. There's, there's arrogance. You know, I was arrogant. Roy Keane was arrogant. Brian Robson. But, but we, was, we actually had the arrogancy to play for the best clubs in the world. Yeah. But off the pitch, we weren't arrogant people. You know, and if we were, there were arrogant people, then why would I listen to someone who I feel is just not a nice guy and it's all about him? Why would you listen to someone like that? Maybe that's what's going on. You know, maybe, as I said, maybe you've got that little Harry Maguire little group. You've got the Paul Pogba group. You've got the um, Ronaldo group. Maybe you've got that and then all of a sudden, yeah, well, it, no, I'm not listening to him, not listening to him. This is how it should be. Because I know what players are like. You know, we're right, they're wrong, they're wrong. We should, you know, you're not playing. I can't believe you're not playing. How comes he's playing instead of you? It's a joke. Yeah, manager's crap. Yeah, I'm going to say something to the press. Yeah, we don't like it. That's how it works. You know, Ronaldo's not not got, going to be there in a year's time. You know, you what you will never see now. And, and the funny when when I was at United, some, if something like this ever happened, or anything happened, there'd be a Tuesday afternoon or Saturday after the game. All the players would get together. The captain would say, "Right, we're going to get together. We're going to go for dinner, or we're going to go somewhere. We're going to talk about it. And we're going to get it sorted." That ain't happening at Old Trafford. Well, I said this a couple of weeks ago for Christmas. Jesse Lingard put a picture out of him in a West Ham shirt again. And I said, no way when Roy Keane was captain. I mean, I know there wasn't phones then. He wouldn't have it. And people were like, well, it's not Maguire's fault what Lingard does. I said it blood in a traditional dressing room as a captain. A manager can't know the, the social aspects of things, but a captain of will because he's one of the lads. He, a proper captain, whether it's John Terry, Stephen Gerrard, even yourself, you're not going to let that undermine your dressing room are you that is the captain's job and look I don't want to bring Harry Maguire into this but everything that's going on at the moment all the leaks all the unrest that is his job as a captain to sort it out but he might well be